Composite bridges are more popular around the world since they combine some advantage of steel bridges with some cave factor of concrete bridges. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about steel composite bridges. Composite bridges are formed with concrete deck and steel beams which can be ice section or box girder. They are formed with concrete deck and steel beam which can be ice section or a box girder. The main structure of composite bridges is formed by following elements. Main longitudinal girder, transverse diaphragm and last one concrete slab. For a span up to around 70 meter main girder are typically plate eye girder. For longer span the structure is typically a box. Transverse diaphragm help to distribute part of the vertical load between girder. They are also used for stability of the structure during construction. Concrete slab can be casting place or cast over prefabricated slabs. For composite action, use a shear connector to prevent a slippage caused by horizontal shear stress at the slip beam interface. As I mentioned earlier, steel eye girder or boxes are most common cross section of decks. Plate girder has a eye type cross section. The girder is constructed from steel plate elements which are connected together with belts. In a steel eye girder, major structural components include concrete deck, slab, shear stud, steel eye section, longitudinal and transfer stiffness, and last one, cross frame. Flanges in I section provide the bending strength and above the web mainly provide the shear strength for the girder. And also there are three type of stiffener usually used for I section. First one transverse intermediate stiffener. Second one bearing stiffener and last one longitudinal stiffener. Transverse intermediate stiffener are provided in order to prevent the web of girder from buckling. And also above the bearing stiffener they are required at all bearing location and also all locations supporting concentrate load they work as a compression member. Longitudinal stiffener we use in a span around more than 40 meters to increase the shear and bending strength of girder. Another main element used in I section is diaphragm and cross frame. Intermediate cross frame provide the bracing against lateral torsional buckling of compression flange during erection and deck concrete placement. They also provide lateral bracing for wind load and participate to some degree in live load distribution. As I mentioned earlier, another steel composite is box girder. In reality, the box is form of the plate girder which combine two girder into the single unit. Close box section have an excellent torsional stiffness, while the large 
torsional stiffness has led to increased use in curve girder application. Also, the box section provides aesthetically pleasing structure, but the amount of steel required, especially for closed box girder, can sometimes exceed that for a standard ice section. And also, box shape usually have a higher fabrication cost than eye pillow. One of the main difference between a steel eye and box bridge is existence of a stiffened plate at the bottom flange. In continuous support zone of bridges, bottom flange of a steel box girder is subjected to axial compressive load and design of a stiffened bottom flange. There are a number of bracing systems that are required to improve the performance of such a girder. Most of the these bracing systems are required primarily during construction of concrete bridge deck. Much of the bracing is left on finished bridge. I've prepared some tutorial about these bracing, you can find them in description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next video.